what's up and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be filming another vlog for you guys it is actually Tuesday morning currently and I'm probably gonna split this vlog up into a couple of days um, I have a laser appointment this morning and then um, I believe on Thursday I'm gonna be going in um, for a red light facial a company that's opening up in my area actually just messaged me and asked me if I wanted to come in and help out with some promotion for them and try out their service so I will probably be taking you guys along with me for that and then my friend Summer is actually going to come over and I think we're going to trade facials too So it's going to be kind of like a self-care kind of week um, But currently I'm just going to start heading over to my laser appointment If you guys want me to do a whole video dedicated to like my experience with laser so far I can do that for you guys But I'll kind of give you guys like a brief idea so far um, I guess like the main questions would be like does it hurt And honestly if you want me to be 110% honest um, Yeah it hurts really bad I <laughs> do not look forward to going at all my legs are a tolerable pain but I'm also getting my Brazilian and that is probably the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life if you want me to be completely honest however it does work I've had probably over five sessions this might be my fifth session actually um, so far and I will have like nine sessions I think over the span of two years I don't want to be late so I'm gonna drive and like continue to talk to you guys about it um, but I did just spray this numbing spray um, if you guys want to take a screenshot she recommended this to me um, the last time that I was there to help with the pain so I did just spray some and then I'm gonna spray some more when we get there too so we're gonna see if that helps with the pain I really hope it does because it hurts so bad they give me a squeezy ball and I like practically break the squeeze ball every single time <laughs> I'm holding it I watched like all these videos before I decided I was finally going to just give in and buy myself laser sessions I watched a ton of videos like on the pain and girls getting laser and being sponsored by these laser companies and stuff and they're all like oh yeah it doesn't hurt like it's completely painless blah 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 I don't know what kind of laser they're getting <laughs> But it hurts really bad. Um, I literally, I have so many ear piercings. I just got my tragus pierced like, I don't know, a month and a half ago, two months ago, and that didn't hurt either. Like, honestly, I feel like I have a pretty high pain tolerance. And I was like, oh yeah, it'll be fine. Like, everybody says it doesn't hurt, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, but no, I don't wanna like freak you guys out from getting it, because honestly, in my opinion, even though I, hate going every time I have to go. Hopefully today this numbing cream or numbing spray helps and I don't feel anything. I also took two tablets of Tylenol, 500 milligrams. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't hurt that bad today. But typically, it hurts and they tell you like they're very nice and you know they tell you like oh can you need to stop let me know we can take a break but like i'm one of those people like just like go 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 like just just get it over with like do not stop my car just told me my phone's connected but i'm like yeah just go like don't stop just i want it to be over if they go non-stop without breaking i'm usually out like before 30 minutes for like my lower half of my legs and my brazilian um but Sometimes I take breaks and like go out of the room and stuff for like 20 minutes and then I'm just like, oh my god I just want this to be over. I actually do have eczema on my legs 
for like probably the past like six or seven years it showed up later in my life I don't know why after I shave is when I get the most irritation from my eczema so I've always wanted to get laser because in my eyes if I reduce the shaving then I would essentially reduce the irritation as long as my skin didn't have a weird reaction to the laser which it didn't I don't notice quite yet as much results on my legs unfortunately like I do notice a difference I barely shave my legs anymore but there is still hair there um, but my Brazilian is like practically almost hairless like I rarely ever shave and both of those things are honestly life-changing for me because one the eczema has calmed down tremendously like everyone around me has noticed and two the Brazilian's life-changing because I live in Florida and I can just like if my friend wants to go to the beach or the pool, I don't have to worry about jumping in the shower and you know, shaving really fast and going before I put a bikini on. And so I can just be quick in and out, out the door. Um, and if you guys know, I'm Middle Eastern too. And unfortunately that comes with hairy jeans. So I am gonna try and take you guys in with me. Again, I'm not like sponsored by them. They don't know I have a YouTube channel. I've never like filmed in there obviously cause I wasn't doing YouTube for a long time. Um, but I do eventually want to see if they will partner with me for a video. I think that'd be really cool to get you guys like some more information and maybe I could film more that way. Because um, right now I'm kind of going to like sneakily try to record. <laughs> and then maybe I'll ask her to um, if she'll let me like just film some of the laser on my legs. But yeah, so I am just going to head over to my laser place and I will see you guys once we get there. I just got out of my laser appointment and the lady I had I've never had her before but she was so nice she was by far my favorite so far as you guys probably noticed unfortunately I did ask her if I could film um, her doing my legs and she told me that unfortunately they don't allow anyone to film I told her I was like you need to let them know to change that because you can get promotion from people filming but unfortunately I could not film me actually getting the laser I did film some beforehand which I'm glad I did so you guys can see like inside the room and stuff um, I'm still gonna leave that in the video because I'm not even saying you know where I'm going a location I was gonna try and maybe film some like sneakily on my phone but she was so nice that I didn't want to do that to her so I didn't end up filming any I'm really sorry um, but I will say the numbing cream I think actually helped I asked her when I went in because I've never used it before I was like hey I, I sprayed some like 30 minutes beforehand um, how should I do this should I spray some now like um, before you come back in that way it's like fresh again because I think that's what the lady told me last time like you spray some before you leave the house and then you spray some after but she was like oh no since you already have it on like we're gonna have to wipe it off and I was like wipe it off like no I don't want to wipe it off like how is it gonna be numbing but I don't know if it was the Tylenol that worked or if it was this that worked or if it's just the fact that I have less and thinner hair that it's starting to hurt less but it actually wasn't too bad this time thank you Jesus um both my legs and my Brazilian are pretty tolerable and she also was super sweet so she was like helping me get through the pain but yeah um so I am done with my laser for the day my legs usually get kind of red and bumpy um just from irritation from the laser but it will go down in like 30 minutes you know what I do actually want to go get some Starbucks because I didn't drink any coffee beforehand because I didn't want to be more anxious or nervous um but I either want to get a matcha or maybe like a pumpkin spice starbucks drink because the fall starbucks drinks are out so fall is officially here so yeah let's go get some starbucks i'll take you guys along with me and i don't know what i want to get yet my um friends who also do youtube their name is the mcknight twins you guys probably watch their videos um she posted like these drinks on instagram psl pccb what is a PCCB? I don't know these abbreviations. I just, I'm not. Pumpkin cream cold brew. Okay. Do I want to try a cold brew? 
last time I tried a cold brew it was kind of bitter and I didn't really like it I hope my fan isn't too loud I'm sorry I just had the fan on the whole time I suck at YouTubing I'm going through Pinterest and looking at Starbucks drinks right now <laughs> Uh, what do I want? This is big decisions. This is the first pumpkin Starbucks drink of the year. I can't mess it up. Okay, so we are gonna head to Starbucks. I still don't know what I'm gonna get, but you know what? We will find out together. Okay, Mr. Amazon Prime man, just go right on ahead. It's fine. Yeah, act like you don't see me. Just fly on through right in front of me, it's fine. Oh my God, Mr. Amazon Prime Man just jumped in front of me again. Get it together, dude. All right guys, I will see you guys once I get in the Starbucks drive-thru. Um, you guys should definitely leave your Starbucks fall recommendations down below because my friend Ashley and I, I think we're gonna refilm um, the trying my subscribers Starbucks drinks video because you guys love that video and we love that video and we were just watching it the other day and we were like, we should do that again. So I think we're gonna do it again. So you guys should leave your favorite fall drinks down below and we'll do like a fall version. I don't know what I want. Let's see what they have on their menu. Okay, I don't see any pumpkin-y things on the menu. Looks like normal Starbucks drinks. Maybe they have, oh, there they are. Okay, pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin apple crisp ma macchiato, and pumpkin cream cold brew. I guess I'll do a pumpkin cream cold brew with soy. Okay, that's our final decision. Good afternoon, thank you for your patience. So what can I get started for you today? Hi, um, could I do a pumpkin cream cold brew? I am all out of cold brew at the moment. Oh no, okay, could I do a, do you guys have like a pumpkin chai? Or like, yeah. okay, I'm gonna do a iced pumpkin chai grande with the pumpkin cream um, cold foam on top. All right. And that'll be all. And that'll be 683 up here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I guess the cold brew wasn't meant to be, but that's okay because I love my chai and I guess they have like a pumpkin chai. Hmm, I don't know if I ordered that right, but I did. Oh, I forgot to get, did I say soy? I don't think I said soy. It's okay, we'll try it. I'm sure it'll still be good. I should have said soy though. Did I say soy? I don't think I said soy. I love the pumpkin cream cold foam though. Oh, it's so yummy. I'm excited. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, it's me 683. Thank you. Um, no, I'm okay. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, you too. Okay, so I parked for a sec so we can try my Starbucks drink. My first official fall Starbucks drink of 2021. So yeah, I did not get soy. I'm a dummy, that was completely my fault. But I did get a grande iced chai tea latte with pumpkin sauce, I guess is what makes the chai pumpkin, and pumpkin cream cold foam. So this is what she looks like. Let me try her. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so good. Wow, it's okay, it's good even without the soy. But obviously if you don't drink milk, then you could replace it with soy. But oh my God. I kind of just made up this drink for myself on the spot because I panicked, but it's really good. Mm. I haven't had Starbucks in so long, you guys. So I would say my first fall drink is definitely a success. The texture of like the cold foam on the top is just so yummy. It's definitely really sweet. So if you don't like sweet, you probably wouldn't like this, but I love it sweet. So I just want you guys to know that I am celebrating fall while it is 92 degrees outside. But you know what? It's August 31st today. 
So I don't think I'm that early. Alrighty, so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. Um, I do know I'm gonna go pick up my boyfriend's daughter from school, and then I think we're gonna have dinner with his parents tonight. Um, but other than that, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog for the rest of the day, um, but I will catch up with you guys once I catch up with you guys. It is Thursday around 10 a.m. and I am on my way to my red light therapy session at the Drip Bar. Um, I will have all of their information down below so you guys can check them out. Um, probably their Instagram and like their website and all that good stuff. I have never had a red light therapy treatment before but I have heard about all the benefits when it comes to like anti-aging. Even athletes use it so I'm excited to try it out and see how that goes. In the last clip you guys saw my friend Summer came over and we traded microderms. Both of us haven't given a facial in so long so we were just like laughing and having fun the whole time and then we also tried the jelly masks. I've done the jelly masks a couple times before but she's never used them before so I let her try one on me and that was super fun they're obviously super satisfying to watch too and they smell so yummy aside from like the skin benefits that they actually give I just woke up not too long ago so my voice is like kind of going in and out hopefully it stops that kind of soon but I'm actually pretty close to being there already so I will see you guys once we get there improves your circulation, um, reduces inflammation and pain. I myself have had several neck surgeries, so I use it quite often, and it does take that pain away. It also stimulates hair growth. It just improves any kind of recovery if you're suffering from anything, um, maybe a surgery, and um, it's just good for overall cellular health. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>
alrighty, so I just got done at the drip bar and that was definitely a pretty cool experience. They definitely had the place put together very nicely, like from like the front lobby all the way to the back, all the way to the rooms and all that good stuff. <laughs> I told her, I was like, it's funny because it has a similar feeling to being in a tanning bed, but this actually has good benefits and health benefits and skin benefits as opposed to you know obviously being in a tanning bed which is horrible for you which you should not do and I do not do anymore um, but she agreed with me which is really funny but um, it does have like a hot sensation it helps boost collagen which is really great for skincare um, helps reduce fine lines wrinkles aging um, athletes use it and you guys obviously heard all the benefits that she told you guys earlier in the video but I asked her how often people can do this and she said that people do it as often as every single day which is so crazy um, it's really simple because it's a 20 minute session however like they have a couch in there you can sit and relax like you don't have to be standing in front of it the whole time she said the LED can um, like penetrate through your clothing but it's totally optional clothed or not clothed um, but overall it was a really great experience Brie was super nice and helpful um, I really appreciate all of her help and she definitely made my visit very enjoyable she also gave me this shirt as well which is super cute I'm definitely gonna be rocking this shirt but if you guys are in the area I definitely do recommend you guys checking out the drip bar um, they have IVs they have a red light therapy and I believe she did say that this is the strongest red light um, in our area which is crazy so I definitely recommend checking them out I will have all their information down below their Instagram their website and all that good stuff and thank you so much to the drip bar for having me it was a great time okay guys so it is a couple hours later now I've basically just been editing since I got home I did change into my drip bar shirt which is super cozy but I pretty much finished editing this entire vlog already and it's up to 20 minutes so I'd say that's pretty much it for this vlog I hope you guys did enjoy this little self-care vlog and if you guys do want more like self-care style vlogs like these then let me know down below and I will do more of them for you give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it and subscribe if you guys aren't already also if you guys want to make sure that you don't miss a video then hit the notification bell down below that way you guys can get notified every single time I post but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will see you guys next time.